No, you didn't fall into a coma and wake up in December. There is actually a free 95 overall player you can get today in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Here's how. Now with the Gridiron Guardians promo releasing today in game, I'm going to show you guys what you got to be doing first, and that's going to be headlined by the free 95 overall you can pick up. The first thing I need you doing is opening up the welcome pack. The animation is stunning. I can't lie to you. The animation team, they always cook. And inside of this pack, we're going to get a Kyle Hamilton 80 overall, as well as an 80 overall Dallas Garter right here and you might not believe me when i say this but yes these cards can get upgraded to 95s now as you can see on this kyle hamilton when we go to the upgrades tab we can boost this man to a full 95 overall item by putting in 15 energy cells i'll show you guys how to get energy cells in just a second but that's a big number now first things first let me just show you the stats of these two players on the screen are these stats for dallas goddard he's got 93 speed which is crazy obviously he's a 95 overall player great route running great catching stats and obviously this is the fastest receiver in game by a mile he should literally be running by every single corner then next up the kyle hamilton card might be even better bro 95 speed 95 excel 89 hit power 96 zone coverage obviously i'm assuming most of us are going to be using this card as a user defender a 95 speed user you can literally run down to the drag and then get back up to a crosser with that speed so these cards are absolutely insane but let's talk about what you guys got to do to get these energy cells i'm going to go over how you get all 50 15 really quickly and then i'll showcase exactly what you need to do now first things first there are four energy cells in the field pass at level number five level number eight level number 11 and level number 15 that's the first four next up there are three more located in the solo challenges one at tier one one at tier four and one at tier seven that's a total of seven energy cells so far to buy madden 25 coins for the cheapest price on the internet check out mmo exp by clicking the link in the description and use the promo code swift at checkout for five percent off then go to your Iron Guardians field pass, go to the objective tab and scroll down to win games. EA Sports listed that there are eight available tokens in this win game section. And as you can see right now, there's this first mission, which has win games with two press guard iron guardians. And if you scroll through this right here, you will see there are only four energy cells you guys can earn right now. But look in the top right corner of this mission. It says part one. So what I believe is there's a part one and a part two to this mission. I am guessing both will give you four energy cells, meaning in total that can get you to the 15 that you need. But past that, there's some non-free ways to get energy cells as well. If you go on over to your special offers in Gridiron Guardians, there's a Gridiron Guardian energy pack right here, which is going to give you energy cells. And if you go to your sets, there's also sets you can complete to get these. But I'm not going to lie, the sets ain't cheap. To get this set done, you got to put it in 86 and an 81. You're spending a lot of coins to get these cells. Now, before we continue with this video, Thursday Night Football is kicking off in a couple hours from now. And on the screen right here are some of my picks over on Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy has given us like seven profits boosting tokens today, meaning that every single pick you see on the screen is profit boosted. We're winning more money than we should because they've boosted up our odds. Now, if you want access to those tokens, you want to try and make some picks and you want Kirk Cousins line set to 0.5 passing yards, I'm going to leave Underdog Fantasy linked in the description. If you put in the promo code, you get access to all that good stuff. Don't miss out, boys. Let's win again. We've had a couple of really, really successful days. Hopefully we keep the train going. Hopefully I can keep on winning some money for you guys. Now, one thing absolutely everyone needs to know as well is it's not worth worth going through and spending all these coins to maybe do those sets because these cards will downgrade to 88 overall items on the 17th of October. So we can use these cards for three weeks or sorry, two weeks. But once the 17th rolls around, these cards are going to downgrade to 88. So it's not worth going through here, in my opinion, and spending those coins on the sets or the packs. Instead, what you can do is try and earn all 15 of them for free. We can get seven from the field pass and the solo challenges and then eight from that objective I showed you. Okay, so that's the explanation for how we go through and get these players upgraded. I know a little bit confusing, but let's talk about what you guys need to be doing right now. The first thing everyone's got to do is just put these cards into your lineup as backups. That's a requirement. Then I would say solo challenges are worth playing. There's 23 of them. So far, they have been incredibly easy. One drive solos, you're playing offense or you're playing defense, and they're going to go through quite simply, at least go through here and get to tier number seven. Tier number seven gives you your third and final energy cell. If you don't want to go past that, you don't need to. And actually just looking at this right now, I'm not sure you can get to tier number seven today, but we we will be able to get there when they put new solos in the game. You should be able to get pretty close. I believe we can get to 115 stars today, which means we'll be close to tier seven. I would
would play through these challenges. They don't seem too, too difficult. Now, doing some, of course, is going to give us a nice bit of progress on all these missions. And since we put those two Gridiron Guardian players in our lineup, we're going to be tracking on these, the challenges. We're going to have some nice progress in. Let's talk a little bit about sets. I would recommend you go through here and do a hero set. The hero sets right now, according to my math, I believe you can go through and do for close to break even. Because at the time I'm recording this video, these 86 overall Gridiron Guardians, they're selling at about like 120 to 130k. And to get this set done, we got to put in 83 overall Gridiron Guardian players, which if you buy at 25,000 coins, you're going to be spending 125k to get this set done. That's pretty close to the amount of coins you sell this card off for. And as you guys can see on the first refresh, we see one at 26 right there. It's going to be pretty easy to find these deals. Depending on when you're watching this video, though, the math is very simple. Just go through, look at how much an 86 overall player costs and divide that number by five. That's going to be your target price for how much you want to spend on these 83 overall cards. And realistically, the numbers should work out that you can find them at whatever your target is. As you guys can see right here, I'm actually not even seeing the newest cards. I'm only seeing 56 minute on these players. We can easily find these cards at 25 and get this set done to make a profit or just break even and get the mission done. Then beyond that, all that is fine and dandy. We can easily get progress on this field pass to get those tokens. We can easily get the solo challenges done to get those tokens. But the hardest part of this right here is going to be winning these games. As you guys can see, you got to win 72 games in head to head solo battles or the super plays house rules event. And realistically, if you want to grind wins, I think that the house rules event is probably going to be your best bet. The house rules game should go by the quickest out of all the different modes you can play because instead of playing a full game, you're going to force a lot of rage quits and you can easily win these a lot quicker than playing a full mud champs game or playing a full head to head seasons game. But the numbers are pretty high. Like realistically, getting these players maxed out, it's going to take a lot of grinding because we need to go through here and win 72 games in total. And that's only part one. There's a part two coming, which will give us even more energy cells. So that kind of does suck by EA, but even if you don't get these cards maxed out and say you win 40 or 50 games, the cards that they're 94 or they're 93 overall, they're actually still very, very usable player items. If you don't get all the tokens, you can actually still use this card at say a 93 or say a 94, and this card is still going to be really good. Like let's say we get him to a 93 overall, he's still going to be chilling at 93 speed, a very, very good player. So don't think that you necessarily need to get every single win because getting those wins is kind of going to be a roadblock. Getting the other energy cells isn't that difficult, right? Solos, field pass, but getting all 72 wins, that's going to be a bit of a grind. That's what you need to do to get them from like that 93 to that 95. But even if you stop at a 93, again, I don't think you're in a horrible place. So maybe set the goal a little bit lower. Try and get the 30 wins in here from house rules or whatever you play online. And that'll put you in a situation where the card is still super usable and super good. But of course, he's not going to be the full 95. And yeah, just to show you guys that right there, say, for example, you get 36 wins, you get a couple of tokens in here instead of all four of them, you're still going to be getting the card up to a nice overall, but instead of winning 70 plus games, it's 36, a much more digestible number. Now, additionally, EA Sports also changed up the season ticket offer, so now you can go through and spend some of those tickets. I'll probably talk about that in my No Money Spent video in a couple of days, and there's also obviously some solid special offers in here. Haven't really looked at these a ton, but from what I've seen, the opportunity pack is probably the move if you guys want to spend money. Until next time, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you're Jewish like myself, happy New Year, Shana Tova. If you're not Jewish, I'll say happy New Year to you on January 1st. Until next time, I'm out, love. Y'all see ya. Peace.